guess what? It's me again. We're out. And guess who's in the background? Yeah, Nigel. I'm still with Nigel. I'm still in South Wales. I'm head am I in Pembrokeshire yet? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm in Pembrokeshire now. We're on the the corner side of uh South Wales and we're at St Govan's Chapel. Um, again brought me down I've got no bag on my back as you can see there's no camera in hand but I've got my phone um, this is one of those locations where I'm not so sure it's gonna validate with the conditions and the time and everything a great photo but it's something I've wanted to see for a long time and I'm gonna start off up here oh we've got some more steps I'm gonna start off up here and show you what we're looking at this is pretty impressive now if you've never heard of it it's pretty much a chapel that is built in the side of the cliff it is just well impressive. I've seen lots of photographs of it. I've seen videos on it and stuff like that, but I've never actually been here. So it's just nice to come here, have a look at it, and uh, yeah, see what it's all about. But first of all, we've got to get down these steps. Oh, it's just bonkers, isn't it? Right, so we're nearly at the bottom of the steps now. And uh, yeah, this is this basically it. We're down, there's the cliff, here's the cliff there and there. And uh, we're basically heading down into it. And this is so cool. I so say, I wanted to come here for quite some time. And we're now in the chapel. Say your prayers. Am I gonna burst into flames? No, not yet. Oh, look, we've got puppy dog and everything in here. I bet he's been part of the furniture. Well, uh, oh, how cool is this? Up in here. Whoa. <laughs> so I've just come out the back door, there's nothing out the back door, so <laughs> apart from a puddle. It'd be well cool, wouldn't it, for a wedding? Isn't that cool? But what we're here to see is to have a look at the outside, aren't we? Let's all face. Let's have a quick look on the outside. Is it worth going up and getting my camera and bringing my camera down? That's the question. Or am I gonna take some pictures on my phone like a million other people do these days let's have a little look that's bonkers so there it is one little chapel built in the side of the cliff how insane is that why would you want to that's the question I bet there's some seedy past some seedy history some seedy past that some little monk decided to build himself a little cove on the side of the cliff to entice all them nuns in <laughs> right so my challenge is then to get a couple of cool shots on my phone that's what we're going to do we're going to make this video this is going to be a short video only a little one and i'm going to use my i'm going to put it out of my pocket i'm going to use my samsung s21 or 21s s21 i think it is i'm going to use this i'm going to take a couple of shots and then i'm going to bob them up on the screen for you have a look at them and we're just going to make this about this no editing no anything it's all going to be in phone actually no i tell a lie it's going to be in phone but i'm going to use snapseed to edit them and uh, then i'm going to put them on the screen so let me know what you think i'm going to do a few random ones i'm going to go down there where nigel is obviously head that direction and i'm just going to see what i can make of this see if i can make something interesting out of it let me see if we can achieve that with just a phone right so the first one i'm going to go for is something like this i've got a, a rock um see if i can show you on the back of my screen right so on the back of my phone you can see there i've got some rocks which are basically here and i'm using this on a very wide angle lens on the camera and i'm setting myself in a position where i can get the rocks acting as a leading line and then the cliff which has got the sunlight on it and i'm just going to try and snap that so that's my first one with a, a vertical shot leading up that way getting the sunlight at the top there and using these rocks as a foreground to sort of head your eye up into the image so that's all about that's what it's about it's about trying to find something that can add to the photograph rather than just pointing it at the scene and snapping the shot so there are some rocks and boulders around so that's what my eyes are you know starting to work on getting myself in a position where i can find something that's going to act as a lead in line or a bit of interesting foreground that's something a bit different oh look there's a little um there's a little something there what's that for look at that just down there if you know what that's for let me know is it the cookhouse <laughs> barbecue pizza oven i don't know let me know what that's for the coast is beautiful look at that for a coastline that's pretty fantastic for a coastline that is some beautiful color rocks you can see the different colors and shades that rock structure there is quite impressive it's just balanced there and we've got this pinnacle 
which is just around this rock here you can just see it there if i hold the camera still there's a pinnacle there so i'm going to have a walk around there in a minute and see if i can make something of that as well but that's our first image done and i'm just going to try and find another one i'm going to see if i can scroll my screen down i don't know if i can do this on camera mode i should be able to can i do it in camera mode and put it on like ah screen recording i'm going to go onto screen recording so you can see and i can explain what's going on uh, start recording with sound and mic right okay three two one so I'm going to chop this up on the screen for you now so you'll see it on the side of the screen this is actually my phone which i've got in my hand and you can see what's going on so the idea is i've I thought about these rocks um, that are in front of me and i've come just below the rocks now i thought well do i get down low and put the rocks but then that's a bit too much i've come up above it i think that's quite nice so i tilted it down i thought well i like the leading line from that but look what it's doing to the barn or this to the chapel look what it's doing it's stretching the chapel so i've got to take it more straight on so i lean it down you can see it stretches the chapel it doesn't look right i lean it up and it straightens it up what i like is the the rocks leading in but i don't like the stretched chapel so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this shot as a 16 by 9 like it is i'm going to tilt it towards it use these rocks in the foreground and i'm going to keep the pathway in which is the stone uh, steps because that's probably part of it and i'm going to take the shot there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to crop it i might actually go a bit higher and take one there and i'm going to crop the top of the image off so this part up here you can see my camera waving around i'm going to get rid of um, because we don't need all that blue sky but if i was to get rid of it like that the chapel gets stretched so that's why i'm doing it that way so let's just turn uh, screen recording off it's on here somewhere i don't know where it is stop that right so now i'm back talking to you properly i'm still going to try and get myself in another position just to make the most of it but i might as well do a little bit of climbing um yeah definitely need to do a bit of climbing to try and find a position to get myself in we'll find one and i'll be back so i'm having a bit of a climb over the rocks trying to see if i can find myself something i'm not sure what this little thing is this uh oven type pizza hut thing um, i'm not quite sure but it's hard just to get a, a, a normal shot of it um can't work out how to make it really impressive i think it's one of those ones that's impressive to see and to put down in your catalogue of things to come and look at but to photograph um to photograph i'm not quite sure of. Uh, i'm going to go further away but by going further away it's still got that funny thing about it so i will i'm going to go further away look back at it get a couple of pictures of these coastal lines and uh, yeah, then we head off back to the van. Scrambled down on the rocks a little bit. Uh, you can see where Nigel is. You can see he's, he's come down a little bit as well. He's climbing down the rocks a bit. Chapel's still up the back there. I can't make the chapel look any better. Not really, not with all these rocks or anything the way it is. I've taken a vertical one. Um, but what I am doing now is I sort of want to make my way down and have a bit of a nose through that sort of little, little cavey thing down there. And I'm going to try and get over that way to get a picture of that gap and the light shining that way because the, the, from here the photo looks really cool it looks really nice and the phone takes such a spectacular vibrant image out of them as well um, yeah I'm just gonna have a scramble down have a quick nose over there and then make my way across to that one and then back up I think and I think Nigel's gonna have an attempt of following me down as well <laughs> so this should be fun <laughs> I've got to put you away though because if I drop you you're not coming back that's the only thing so I'll put you away and when I get to another position I think's worth it I'll uh <laughs> he's scaring the life out of me here climbing through these bloody rocks um yeah well I'll switch you back on when it's ready got another shot set up definitely got another shot set up uh the, the phone is out in hand and uh, this one I'm gonna do the same again I'll see if I can get to screen record on for you so I can show you this just punch in my password and away we go start recording a three two one and away it starts recording right so i've climbed over onto the rock you'll see up onto the screen i'm actually balanced on a on quite a big plinth of a rock it's not a bad rock at all but as you can see i've got my phone up and i found these snaky rocks look at these going up there that way leading you into the image so first of all i was over this side of the rock and i've got an image that way leading you up from the middle going up that way and then i thought well that's quite nice but if i come over to the other side of the rock that leading line leads you from the right hand corner 
up to there. Now what's nice is we've got some nice clouds up at the top now, so it's not all blue. So I'm going to use the fo these shiny rocks here, a little bit of that and that. Now I could go wide angle as well, clip you over to wide angle. And that gives you a really immense sort of look to it. So let's go for one at a wide angle and then I'm going to tap it back into a closer angle. And I'm just going to line those rocks up best I can, get the sky in, rock on the bottom corner, lead in line and another shot done. Easy on these phones and it absolutely easy. So that's uh, why I've got the phone out. Let's give you a bit of a look at what the coast is like. Look at that for coastline. How beautiful is that? Absolutely fantastic. And I like this piece. I really do like that. And if I spin you around there, the phone might handle it better than the Osmo. Look at that for cliffs. And that is where the chapel rests. How cool is that? So I've come down to underneath this stack. He's taking selfies of me. He does know you've got to pay for him, hasn't he? Uh, the view down here is fantastic. Just look at this behind me. Absolutely to die for. What an absolute stunning, stunning location. I shouldn't really be messing around because if I show you down below me, I'm actually stood on the edge. Yep, I know. Come down and look at this. Where are we? Here's my foot and there's the edge. So, yeah, foot, edge. Not very good, is it? But yeah, I've come down to the end. I'm on the end of this sea stack, but look at this for a view. Look at these blue skies, coloured rocks. I've just taken a pano all the way round and got the chapel in, which is actually in there. to get a panel of that so I'm, I'm quite happy with that I think that's beautiful I love the lines I absolutely love these Jurassic coastlines they're so cool um, there's another lady photographer come down as well she's down here she managed to make herself down but these rocks are okay to climb on as long as you're careful uh, I've taken a couple of other phone shots as well because if I get down really low I can show you what's down here I've got these cracks and crevices and sort of almost sort of moon sort of shape uh, all the way across this rock here it's very very easy to walk on because it's really quite grippy but these rocks and these little rock pools make some nice foreground for the the chapel behind it i even think looking at these ones that there's a few photographs here i think that one there is a shot on its own so i'm going to take a shot of that because i love all the little barnacles and all like little stars inside this pool of water so i'm going to take a shot of that as well Guess where I am? <laughs> I've come inside a cave. I'm inside a cave. Absolutely wicked. <laughs> Let me show you this. This is so cool. I love stuff like that. Nigel's taking selfies of me. It's going to cost him a fortune to have them done. <laughs> He's got to pay for rights, you know. Famous and all that. <laughs> have I got to buy them off of you? Nigel's back there at the edge. Um, and I'm just looking out to the sea now. I'm, I'm right, look at this. I'm gonna face the camera up if I can. Look where I am. I'm inside a cave. It's sort of a cave. It's a big stack, a big pinnacle. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna climb down, I think. I'm gonna climb down there. I'm gonna spin you around and show you where. I'll tell you what, Nigel's coming as well. Nigel's coming in. Let me come back. Where are you? Come back to me. Yeah, Nigel's actually coming in. It's not bad. It's not too bad, Nigel, is it? It's quite easy, but 
I'm going to have a go at climbing down this little bit, I think. And then I'm going to try and get out there because I'm intrigued to see what it looks like. Um, and Nigel wouldn't do this if he was with me. And I probably wouldn't push my luck if I wasn't with Nigel. So, and I've only got my phone. It's so easy to walk around when you've got nothing to carry. Right, I'm going down there. I'm going to see if I can get down. Bear with me. He's taking the mic out of me because he just took a picture of me. My belly was sticking out. I um, hope you don't mind this sort of a video. This is about, this is me. I'm having a laugh. I'm having a laugh in this one. I'm having a bit of a geek, a bit of a laugh. Um, I don't normally come anywhere without me, you know, my bag on, but you can see where Nigel is at the moment. I'll spin you around. There's Nigel, he's sitting in the rocks and I've just climbed down that bit there, which is, it was fine. There's a great big rock in here. I'm now inside the cave. You would not want to be here with the tide in. Right, wow. I bet that is one hell of a swimming pool when it's sunny. And I bet that's quite deep. That looks really deep, actually. There's that massive big pinnacle up above my head. Oh, you can't see me, can you? Big pinnacle above my head up there. You can see it there. And I'm just gonna walk out now across this, like a barren terrain. It's almost like um, being on Mars really good i'm not going over there that's slippery stuff oh wow oh wow look at that for a cave look at that for a cave i wonder if we can get round behind that one and have a look at that i'm not going to chance it well i am going to chance it if i can get round there but we'll see that looks pretty good i'm definitely not getting near the edge of the sea there's some big square chunks of rock around here but yeah this looks this is like walking on the moon and uh, that's where I've just come out of that that gap there so let's have a quick look over here why well, it's easy to walk on see what it looks like see if we can find a nice picture of some kind oh wow and I keep I keep Nigel in sight as well you can see where we are look at all these barnacly shapes and this is why I said it's like the being on the moon this is just real crazy stuff real covered in barnacles and all the pits and that out of it there's the sea, Ooh, there's the sea just there. I'm not going too close to that because we don't like to get wet. Yeah, that's looking pretty mean. Just look at the coastline up here. I might take a quick run up there and have a look around there, maybe get a shot. Nige, I'm just gonna have a quick look up there. Right, so he knows I'm going up there. So if I'm not back in an hour, he'll probably come looking for me. Wow, wow, wow. That's another funny looking beach that is. This is easy stuff to walk over, but I do love an adventure. And this is the sort of stuff that makes my blood bubble and my heart rate go up. And I just love to see things and experience experiences that you don't get every geez. <laughs> Look at this above my head. Oh, okay. Right, there's another cave here. Let's have a quick look. And then I'm not gonna hang around too long because well, just because oh, it's not a cave, it's just a, a hollow out of there. But imagine the sea bashing this to death. I'm going to go right down the end here quickly. It's nice and flat, easy to walk over. Go down the ends to see if there's anything impressive. And it feels like it's just starting to spit with rain as well. So this was going to be a short video of just me having a quick of a look. The wind's getting up. Let's have a quick look around here. Cool, there's a big cove there but yeah that's enough let's go back the other way um, this is what I've just walked across just so I can show you what it is look at that there look at that is there a photo here can I get a photo while the sun's come out let's have a quick look let's have a quick look get me phone out take a picture of this rock face phone out double press let's hold on to it properly and just get a snap there and go wide angle on it as well there we go, wide angle, get a nice picture. We're leading line and everything coming through there. Not bad, that. All right, let's get back so Nigel knows where we are. We don't spend all day here. We've got other places to go. We've got sunset to do later on. This is pretty bonkers though. Thanks for joining me. That's all I can say. Thanks for joining me on this trip. I'm glad I can bring you with me as well. This is wild. This is lovely. This would make photographs all on its own. Right, I'm going to turn you off. Make my way back up through that cave and uh, see you in a bit.
are a different kettle of fish once they're wet right so we are making our way up it's dark you can see how dark it is this big storms come over storm cloud it started hailing a little bit a bit of sleety stuff so we're retreating back up to the chapel me and Nigel are gonna have a couple of prayers and then we're gonna get back up to the van for the beautiful sunrise sunset we're gonna get but I hope oh it's dark in here I know what I've got in here I've got I've got a torch in my pocket I brought my light with me so bear with me bear with me bear with me suddenly we're here so we're in the chapel now and uh, yeah, that was pretty good that wasn't it <laughs> doesn't it change those slippery on those rocks when yeah. it gets wet yeah. we're looking out the window there's your window view to die for so I don't know the history on this I have seen some videos before on it and it's it's quite interesting so please do look it up and I've put any links in 13th century, 13th century. wow so yeah, I'll put some links down below if I find the videos I found, but yeah, this is really cool. Let's see if I can show you a bit more with this light on. Oh, one, two, three, let's get it onto bright. So let's spin this round. This is where we were before. We've got some little steps in here. We've got this little end. I'm not quite sure what this thing was, but you're back on the, out you're back on the outside there. Um, this is where we are inside wall and a I don't know a little I don't know what these are little squares for putting candles in maybe another little window at the top there where that little bell thing is that's the door we come in there's a, a bit of a step rail so maybe something to sit on and this may be an altar type of thing you know sort of stand on or something I don't know maybe there's another couple of little window light and a little chamber there so very good, really impressed. Probably can't see the ceiling. Oh, you can, can't you? There's the ceiling. Well, cool. So, I have no idea how long this video has been. I really don't. Um, but, nevertheless, you've seen it, you've watched it, you've stayed with me. That lady's still here, she's still here. She's only been out in the rain. Here she is. Look, look, see, I told you there was a lady on the rocks. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been really good. It's been good adventure, good fun. I've enjoyed going in that cave and through the bottom and the outside. Maybe if you come back on a sunset, that'd be really nice. And Nigel says the tide comes up really high here, so that'd be quite awesome as well to see that. So yeah, till next time, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Don't forget, give me the thumbs up and like and subscribe. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. <laughs> He's a bugger. <laughs>